Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at something called relative molecular mass. And you will see this abbreviated to MR. Okay, so what is the relative molecular mass? Okay, so in words, it's this. Okay, relative molecular mass, MR, equals the sum of the ARs, so the relative atomic masses of each element in a compound. Okay, that's what it means in words. What does it mean in practice? What these are calculations that you have to do. Okay, so let's do a few examples. Okay, so let's take something like sodium chloride. Okay, so if you might be asked to work out what's the relative mass, molecular mass of sodium chloride. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is understand what this formula is telling you about the compound sodium chloride. Okay, and what it's telling you is that you have one sodium and one chlorine. The reason you know it's one is because there's no numbers subscript down here or here. Okay, so we've got one times sodium and one times chlorine. Okay, next thing we've got to do then is do a calculation. So what you'll need to do then is grab your periodic table. Okay, and I will put it here and zoom in for you. Okay, so you can see it. Okay, you should zoom in to sodium. Okay, so you can see sodium here in this periodic table. Okay, the bottom number is the atomic number. That's not the number we want. We want the mass number, the relative atomic mass, which is the top number. Okay, so for, chlor for sodium, it's 23. Chlorine is right over the other side of the periodic table. Okay, chlorine is 35.5. Okay, so let's zoom back out again. Okay, so remember, always have that to have your periodic table to hand in the exam. Okay, so the calculation that we want to do, okay, is that the MR for sodium chloride is 23 plus 35.5 which equals 58.5. Okay, so that's sodium chloride, we're done. Okay, let's move on to one that's got more than one of each element. So, still a relatively simple molecule, something like water. Okay, so what that formula is telling you is that you've got two waters, so this, the two here, okay, if it comes after the element, that tells you how many of each element you've got. So, two hydrogens, okay, so we've got two times hydrogen, and one times oxygen. Okay, so just like before, you'd grab your periodic table, okay, and you would start doing your working. Okay, so the MR, and it's best it's always best to put these in brackets, then you can punch, the, punch this exactly into your calculator the way you write it out, is the relative mass of hydrogen is one, so it's two times one, plus the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, Put that straight into your calculator, just like that. Write that down on your paper in your exam, right? Because that shows that you understand that there's one oxygen and two hydrogens. Okay, and that comes out to give you a relative, atomic a relative molecular mass of 18. Okay, so look at another one, something slightly more complicated this time with more elements in it. Okay, so Al2O3, aluminium oxide. Okay, what this formula here is telling you is that you have two. Aluminiums. Okay, this two here means you've got two aluminiums. Okay, the three here is telling you you've got three oxygens. So three times oxygen. <coughs> okay, you then again grab your periodic table, look up the values. Okay, so the MR for aluminium oxide is two times 27. So that's what you'd have looked up from the periodic table. Plus three times 16, punch that straight in your calculator, write it out into your exam script, and you come out with a value of 102. Okay, next example is about as hard as they get for um, GCSE, okay, which is the example of magnesium nitrate, which has this strange looking formula. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is work out again, say the amount of elements, uh, the amount of each element that we've got. 
Okay, so magnesium is more straightforward because we've only got one of them. One times magnesium. Okay, now this whole bracket, this one, there's a couple of ways you can work this out, but this way is kind of foolproof, okay? Within this bracket, we've got one nitrogen and three oxygens. But this two over here means we've got two of whatever's in this bracket, okay? So the number of nitrogens we've got is one, there's a one there, remember that you don't write in, times two. So we have two times nitrogen. Okay. The number of oxygens that we've got, there's three oxygens in this bracket, that's what this three is telling us here, but we've got two lots of everything in this bracket, so we've got six, three times two, six oxygens. So six times oxygen. Okay, so that's our oxygens. Okay, so the formula is so the red to molecular mass. Okay, just add these up. Okay, so again, grab your periodic table, look these values up. Magnesium is 24, 2 times nitrogen, which is 14, plus 6 times oxygen, which is 16. Write it like that. That's exactly how you put it in your calculator, in a decent scientific calculator. And that comes out with a value of 148. Okay, so four examples there for you. Sodium chloride, you've just got one of each. Water, two hydrogens one oxygen, aluminium, aluminium oxide, multiples of each, so two aluminiums, three oxygens, and this last one is, is about as difficult as it gets for GCSE when you've got these brackets, so you have to make sure you multiply up each thing in the brackets. Okay, so that's relative molecular mass, done.